Hello, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. Tonight I wanted to share with you something that um, I'm fixing for our supper and normally I just buy the regular pork chops and I cook those, but I like the um, cubed pork. You can see it, it just says cubed pork and it's like a pork chop that's just m m been uh, cubed. And I'm just gonna put some salt on each one and a little black pepper. And then I'm just gonna dip them in the, in the flour that I have here. I'm not putting them in a egg or anything like I would if it was chicken. But I'm just doing that and I have put my grease on, my oil in my black skillet, and I'm just going to brown them on each side. And y'all, it doesn't take these long because they're thin. So, it's not gonna take them long at all to cook. And they're tender because um, they're cute. Like if you were gonna have cute steak. Well, this is just cute pork. And rinse off my hands while that's cooking. Um. And all we're having with this tonight is I'm going to do some creamed potatoes, and I have already cooked those potatoes. And if you'll look back where I made these before, you'll see how I do my creamed potatoes. I just um, put salt and pepper and uh, mayonnaise but they're really, really good. So, I'm cooking these about on five. I had my oil hot, and I just leave them just a little bit. But uh, it's just another way that you can make pork chops besides just frying the regular pork chops or grilling it or whatever. And um, these just kind of remind me of cute steak except it's cute pork. All right, I think this one's gonna be ready to turn over. Look at this side, it's not quite ready. I turned it down just a little bit. But I'll tell you what, so let these cook just a little bit and then we'll be right back. Okay, they've only been cooking maybe 10 minutes. I've turned the temperature down. I just took one of them up. There's another one. They're gonna be so good. Now I did wanna go back because I I still don't think very clearly, but when I stop, I told you all you're going to put in these mashed potatoes was mayonnaise, but that's not all. You're going to drain them really good, put butter, salt, and pepper, and a spoon of mayonnaise. And let me tell you, they're delicious. But anyway, I'm just glad I can come back and cook again and show you another way. Now, you can fry regular pork chops just like this, but most of the time, your grocery stores will have cubed pork, and I think it's, it's more tender when you buy that and fry it. But anyway, I just hope you've had a great day. I hope that you have thought about what it means to be salt and light. You know, in Matthew 5, 13 through 16, it says if salt's lost its flavor, it's not good for anything. And we're to 
be salt in this world. We've got to show that Jesus is the only reason for us to be here. And when, we have, when we're being salt and light, we're showing the world that they need Jesus. I'll be back soon, and I hope that you will remember what Mama Sue said and have a great day.